mate. What's up, mate? No, I haven't, no. No, if you, if you speak to Sergeant Heinrich, he was here yesterday, and it'll all be confirmed. You had your officers turn up, uh, constable turn up here yesterday for two and a half hours. Sorry? And can I see yours as well, please? Thomas Farley. What's that other one? Is that a new one? Right. Daniel Hitchens. Yeah, da Daniel, Daniel Hitchens. Sergeant. Sa Sergeant, Sergeant Daniel Hitchens. I'll get his number. Yeah. He was one here yesterday. He come back again yesterday evening because there was a report of burglary. Can you ask? Can you tell me what you're doing here? Why are you here today? Pardon? Why are you here today? Oh, no, right, so who, who reported that? Do you know? I don't know. I mean, no, we're here aren't we? Right. Is that? Is that? Is that? Um, yeah. Because this, this is going to be harassment and malicious communications. This well, is, well, this will be the fourth time. That you've this will be the fourth time that you've been here. Okay, we'll still have to investigate. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, you, I, I understand you're, you're, that, mate. Cause if, if it was my house and I'd phone up and reported it, I'd, 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 I'd want you to yeah, turn yeah, up. That's fair enough. Thank you. Oh, well, wait, wait here, it's alright, it'll all be resolved in a minute. Yes, stick them down there, kid, mate, cheers. Do you want a beer, mate? Do you want a beer? Want a beer? <laughs> 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 what, what, what time are you finishing? Five o'clock tonight. Alright. You take one for later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't drink, do I? Alright, pink gin? Pink gin? No, I'm not pink. No, that's alright, mate, try it, don't knock it till you try it, that's alright. Yeah, 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 yes, that's out. Yeah, good shout. Elderflower tonic. Elderflower tonic. Yeah. Yes, mate. It's not all about you, Kev, is it? <laughs> all right. <laughs> this, this can't be helped, mate. They're just doing their job. What about a cup of tea, mate? Do you want a cup of tea? No, I'll, <laughs> okay. I'll put the kettle on in a minute. No. Oh, the windows have been closed. I've got the windows in. I okay, can't got no light. Got uh, Gary round. Gary's come round to give us a uh, uh, getting the uh, glass in. Can I, can I just show you this? This is uh, this is an email. Obviously, it's a civil matter. From Helen Newman at the Chancery Court, on the, if you have a look at the date, 13th of July. No, I don't. Basically, this, this writ is a fraudulent document and this is what was used on Monday to cause criminal damage and steal my property. If you have a look there, 
There's no date, it says June 2018. When it was issued June 2018, if you look at the top, it's got 4th of July. This was taken up to the Chancery Court on Wednesday, put before the judge, and it was and it was uh, it was proven that this writ hasn't been issued by the court. Okay, so where's the court when I caught on Wednesday? Yeah, went up there Wednesday, spoken to the, sorry? Uh 4th of July. And then this, this was, uh, the guys were here for about two and a half hours yesterday, and then the sergeant come down, was liaising with the inspector, and it was determined, said, look, there's no problem, Toby, uh, with this, uh, we're gonna go away, it's obviously a civil matter, you're dealing, it's being dealt with at the higher court, it's way above our level, obviously, because you're, you're here for, for obviously criminal, criminal activity, this is a civil matter, and it's being dealt with civilly. Uh, and he was satisfied, obviously, that's why the officers left yesterday, but I understand about the burglary side of things. Is that the same inspector that was uh, dealing with it yesterday? Uh, no, right. There should be a marker on this address oh, yeah. with my telephone number because the sergeant was here yesterday. I said, look, take my phone number because otherwise this is going to be deemed as harassment as far as I'm concerned. But I keep coming around here. Uh, I understand you've got a call, you've got a job to do, but it would only take one telephone call to me. Say, Toby, is there anybody else in the property who shouldn't be there? And it's going to save a lot of time and a lot of money uh, I mean, I'm sure that you guys have got more pressing things to be dealing with. Sorry? It, what? Right. Yeah. 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 Pass it through the window. Pass it through the window. Pass it through the window. Kev? Yeah? Well, it appears that, um, yeah, they're just going to check out. I don't know if you could hear them. They've obviously had a report of burglary um, and they've got to investigate it, uh, which is understandable. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Sorry, it's going to be an ongoing situation. Um, but hopefully they can get a marker on it at least um, and put it to bed so they don't have to keep coming out. What's that? So they've got, they've got time to come out several times for you, but two of my neighbours were brought in man and property in them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that is, that is, that is a taser, isn't it? You know, a taser gun? Yeah, it is a taser. This is, this is the writ, the fraudulent writ that was used to force entry in the property on Monday. You can see it dated the 4th on now, and it's saying it was issued in June, but there's no date when it was issued. And it was witnessed in June, but there's no date when it was issued. This was taken to the High Court on Wednesday, and it was confirmed that this is, is, this is not a valid writ. Also, the guy's name that applied for the writ on here, Simon John Williamson, 
was not the uh, the alleged High Court enforcement officer that turned up here to enforce this writ. The guy's name was Scott uh, Scott Hines. So therefore, he had no authority. Not only was the writ fraudulent and invalid, but also he never had any authority to exercise the writ. And our major constables aware of this before they allowed the continued breaking into the property. This matter is being dealt with at the uh, at the High Court. All of the evidence and doc documentation was sent over to them or ye uh, to yesterday, and you can see there from from the from the response yep. that it's being investigated. Yeah, it's a civil it's a civil matter. Yeah, you're right, Darren. I shouldn't have to keep explaining it. But, um, I'll take this overlay. Um, but obviously, this, uh, they need to they need to update and put sank on their files, whether they're going to do that or not, or it's just a uh, fear-based intimidation uh, tactics that they use. Uh, it's not the constable's fault. They're just doing a the job. They're just following orders. Uh, whether it's someone that's got the needle higher up because of what's going on and because of the what I know. Um, that's the reason why someone up higher up is just uh, rather than putting a block on it, rather than putting a marker and putting a stop to uh, the activity when it, when it actually when it, when the calls first come in, uh, they're just allowing it to, to keep happening. Yeah, good shout, Darren. You, you, you can get a photo of it, mate. You want a photo of it, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's a chance report, but that's the position there. Sorry? Yeah, if you have a look, you'll see a resolver number on there, and that's all, all of the evidence and documentation has been filed and it's been accessed. That's what's been downloaded. Yeah, that's it. Well, but, but, well, this is a, a PC Dineshi, Jatin Dineshi. There's a crime report already in file before they execute this fraudulent writ. This is a criminal matter because they've broken an entry and using a fraudulent writ, which is, which is a crime. If they're using a fraudulent instrument under Section 135 of the County Court Act 1984, that's a criminal offence. And they've used, they've used that document, purporting to be a valid court document, to break into my house and cause criminal damage. That's a crime. That needs to be investigated. Yeah. But the problem is, they keep on saying it's a civil matter. The, 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 the dealings between me and any monetary disputes or any, any dealings with the court is a civil matter and that's being dealt with civilly. However, that doesn't justify or allow these, uh, these individuals to commit crime with fraudulent instruments. Yep. Is this just wasting your time? Is it everyone's time? It's. Yeah, it's just trying to make it easier for both parties. 
Yeah, that's right. I've got, got bottle. You should show you guys on a glass of water. I've got bottle. But bottle water is not coming for the same. I've got, got bottle water. It's, it's, it's okay. So I'm not, <laughs> not, not, not going to poison you or anything. You are now in possession of evidence of a fraudulent document. <laughs> Um, in fact, yeah. In fact, that you can take it. I've got a couple of other copy scripts. You can take this, which will make it easier for you to. Hello, mate. <laughs> Through the square window. Sure. What time do you finish? You, what time, can, what time, what time, you can keep that. Right. What time do you finish? Five. Oh, you both got five, yeah. What's the football? What time do you start? Is it? Oh, okay. I'll <laughs> A good, good job you were finishing by then, makes all the fucking trouble will start in town then. <laughs> it's a bit of a nothing match, isn't it? Don't know, Jeb, it's a bit of a risk, mate. Bit of too much of a risk to take, mate. If I opened the door, went out. Um, look what happened to me the other day. Um, look what happened to me the other day when they come in here with the uh, fraudulent writ. Uh, they didn't arrest me for, for that. They, they found another trumped up charge, this malicious communication. So I don't want to give them the opportunity um, to arrest me for uh, a, 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 a misdemeanor to allow them access to the property. So. Mr. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> so he's doing a nice piece, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing a job. You yeah. know, but don't get me wrong. If they say that, mate, I'm sure they could turn and be. Uh, oh, and yeah, of course, mate, yeah. But three people ain't going to be treated if he's just going to start. Get his down down the front, get your back up, yeah, they're going to be, they're going to be stuck. They're going to be reacting exactly the same yeah. way, aren't they, so. Just, sorry, uh, so you're saying that, so where's this call come from? I'm not actually sure where the informant's from, I'm guessing it may well be the, I don't know if they've got an alarm sensor or something. No, no. Right. No. 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 But uh, yeah, but we're not drilling anything. They're, they're just being removed. In, yeah. Don't know. Well, as you can see, everything's been taken out nicely. It's all stacked up nicely, so we're not, 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 dam we're not dam dam damaging nothing. It's... Can you get yeah. a photo of that? Can you get a photo of that? Of how we've... Yeah. Oh, oh, how is that working? working? Yeah. yeah. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'm cooking. <laughs> Let's get some sort of um, barrier across the front door. We need the driver on you. Yeah. This big chain or something. Fucking bus. <laughs> Hot bus, fuck. Yeah. To so Mourinho.
I think that's what they could possibly could be worried about, uh, Rosie. Have you managed to track yesterday's log and data? Gas, do you smoke? No. Do any of you guys smoke on a thing? No. no. It's only normal, Becky. <laughs> Funny fuck. I'll give, um, um, Freddy Bell. Uh, yeah, what's, what's happening, what they're doing is, um, the, oh, he's come exploding on the screen, yeah, what they're doing now, they're just tra tracking their, um, tracking the, tracking the log through to the inspector from, uh, that was obviously on duty yesterday, that was dealing with it, um, and obviously because of shift change or whatever, they're just updating the, um, the system, um, and I'm hoping now, with this now, I've given him that document, etc., um, that they can, um, <coughs> that they can update the file. So obviously don't know whether what, what came out yesterday was they were satisfied, but now they wanted the details of the person that's dealing with it at the uh, at the Chancery Court. No doubt, there's probably people in high places going to try and pull some strings to try and um, to try and ridicule or to try and rubbish it, but. The thing is, I've got the factual evidence, it's, um, uh, and it's been it's been agreed and admitted that that is not uh, a valid rip. So, Mate, tell me about it. Oh, it's like a greenhouse in here. <laughs> yeah, what was there? Yeah, what was back on? It looks like they fixed it, Mark. I don't know if you see the uh, thingy earlier. Um, they obviously burst the pipe when they was putting the, the metal shuttering in the... Um, when they put the shutters across here. There's a nice bit of damage up there. Yeah, they've done a, done a repair on it. Oh mate, honestly, Terry, I don't, I, I don't know. I ain't got a full head of grey hair. Um, you can see by law, the name of the person that applies for a writ, even if obviously, because obviously the other anomalies, the incorrect date is, has, has got to be the name of the person that executes the writ. And it was a, a guy called Scott Hines from Hines Co. So it was fatally flawed from the start. He had no jurisdiction, he had no authority to do what he'd done on Monday. Did you hear when he did it, Yeah, it was, yeah. <coughs> That's what's on the legal term. Yeah. What's the update? What's happening? I spoke to the inspector. He's right. going through the process. He sent an email. Well, so. lads, you, you can get you can get off if you want. I'm not going. We ain't going anywhere. Well, we might sit in the van and get the air cut on. Don't blame you. I feel like I'm not in here. <laughs> Yeah, just, I've not around the... F All right. Hey? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, fine.
this much. Yeah, mate. Well, that's where uh, the other damage is on the wall. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they. I don't know if they. Uh, what do, they don't know what they're looking at. It's um. Well, I've told them what it is. Yeah. Right. There's no point. No, no point. Is there any point. At the end of the day, they're not legally trained for and should leave them out for the courts. The map for the courts are saying every yeah. Exactly, exactly. They've got no, they're not they're not trained in uh, in civil law, are they? So obviously they've got that back sent back to the legal department to um, to get it scrutinised and analysed to see whether what I'm telling is the truth. Um, You're not stupid blokes. It's, it's, what you said to them. They know exactly what it's like. Well, yeah. But yeah, they won't do that. Yeah. They're just trying to follow up on the. But it's like someone doesn't want to see, see the truth, <coughs> though, isn't it? Because they've, the, the problem they've got is the police, because they've assisted when I've told the police that the, the writ is fraudulent and invalid, mm. and the police have said they're happy that it's authentic and allow them to continue to do what they do, they're in, they're, they're in the shit because they've, yeah. they've facilitated, they've aided their betting yeah. after I've told them. Well, really, you think they know being the law would know that and would look at it and go, listen, but they don't. mate, this is, not, this is not legit, you can't be doing this. Because they're paid for by the Crown, the police paid for by the Crown, mm. and obviously if he's claiming he's a high court enforcement officer, mm. he's being paid for by the Crown, mm. so they won't, they won't believe me over... But then that's Another. where they need to be more educated to knowing if someone wants to uh, challenge it or put something like take do what they're doing the paperwork has got to be yeah. in order. Yeah, exactly. To have, to have to have constables that are trained in civil law to yeah. do with eviction and to do with repossession and to do with writs. Yeah. So then, when there is an eviction or, or an attempted eviction or repossession, that they come out and they know what they're looking for. And they need they to know they to determine what's in place. Yeah, but they don't want that. They want officers coming out. That don't know, so then they can just go ahead and steal the property because then it's it's uh, easier. Take, yeah, of course it is. Because once they've like the once they've taken it, it's, it's, you know, it's hard to get it back. So they yeah, just, yeah. it's, it's asset stripping. On the Monday when we went over the arrested, the second officer he's got previous with. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right, Amanda. But we'll see. I wonder, I wonder how many of these... No, let's keep this, uh, what do you reckon, should I keep this, keep this going, or, or should I turn it off and wait till they come back, or do you want to keep, <laughs> do you want to keep it on the live? Let me know. What do you want to do? Thoughts please? Keep going, or turn it off? This is uh, this is Dan and his OCD with his uh, Stella <laughs> in the fridge. You will notice the way he puts his Stella in there. Every single can is a, is one of Dan's hands whipped away to allow for maximum airflow around each can. So each can is at the same ambient temperature. <laughs> <laughs> and he's accessible. Uh, yeah, accessible <laughs> with, with Dan's Whopper mix. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so we've got um, we've got this one back in. We've just started to work on that. Right, okay, so okay. Yeah, so Gary, Gary's come down all the way from Dartford to uh, to uh, to assist in his building services. The glass. Yeah, repatriate the glass. Well done, Dan. That's very well put. See the fronts on. Yeah, that uh, rubber strip has um, that has uh, shrunk on that front, guys, hasn't it? Yeah, I've seen the jobs for us. When the sergeant came down, he was quite a nice person. And fucking, yeah, you talked to him. The other three were there to begin with. You could 
And the other writ, you know, that other fraudulent no, writ's up in the other place, isn't it? I don't know if you've seen the, uh, the fraudulent writ. Yeah, I don't know if uh, I've, I've, I've not got one of the uh, copies of the fraud. Oh, mind you, I put it on my Facebook wall, didn't I? I copy the writ. Um, what I've just shown him, what I've just given a copy of. This is um, right. Let me uh, let me show you this while we're waiting for him to come back, because this is. Um, I wonder how it comes out of. Tell me, does this come? Does this come out the right way up when you're seeing this, or is it back to front? Let us know. If it, can you read that, or is it upside down, back to front? Because if not, what I'll do is I'll read you. Anyone? Hello. Can you read it? Is that right? Is that back to front? Is that, can you uh, read that? Anyone? Here's the right way. Right, okay, sweet. Cheers, George. Right, so this is um, this is a crime reference uh, that Dan has submitted, a crime report. Uh, you can see it was uh, submitted on the 12th. Daniel Ryan, Glebe Lane. Now, this this is the um, this is the incident. Uh, the Dan report to the police. On Monday the 9th of July, I was thrown out of my home by unauthorised thugs and had my belongings stolen. The police was called by my housemate, but the thugs convinced them that they were authorised by the court. I'm a, lawfully, I'm a lawful tenant in occupation under contract and I've never been served with any possession proceedings issued by the court. and I've never had any pre-action protocol nor notice. I sought advice on my rights and I've been informed that the thugs have violated the Protection from Eviction and Harassment Act 19, 1977 Section 1, the County Courts Act 1984 Section 135, along with the Tort of Interference of Goods Act 1977. Indictable offences bearing long prison sentences. I want charges brought and the police assist, him, uh, and, and the police assist in the restoration into my home which I'm entitled to do under the common law principle of recaption to bring an end to the aggravation. Reason title, it appears to be a revenge crime in grievance with my housemate and has nothing whatsoever to do with me and my lawful occupation of my home. So that was, this was a crime report which was filed. Um, this is a crime report which Daniel filed to the police uh, on the 12th. Um, and Dan got a re response back from the uh, crime report and they said that uh, uh, it's not a crime, it's a civil matter. So even though he's highlighted all the facts and, and what we've shown them, what we've proven, that it is a, it's a fraudulent, uh, fraudulent writ, um, Dan's reported this crime and the police have come back and said it's a civil matter. I've always, all, I also reported a crime of threats by the court enforcement services for threatening to evict me from the property and if I wasn't out then I was going to go and get a writ. I reported as a threat, as a criminal matter, uh, that was being investigated, the police come back and said it's a civil matter. Now what's happened is now on Monday they've carried out their threat using a fraudulent document and to break, in, break and enter into my property and then do it and put all the metal shutters as you've seen. Yesterday so PC Dineshi that was here uh, he stated uh, through the window, he said, no, it's not, a, it's not a crime. I said, well, you've just witnessed a crime. There's been a crime. So this, this is what they're doing. They're trying to say that it's not, it's not a criminal matter, it's civil. Um, but it's not a civil matter, it's clearly a criminal matter. You cannot, what they've done is they've forced entry into my property on a fraudulent document. Um, and it's, uh, and that's, that's, that's basically the nuts and bolts of it. Um, and that needs to be needs to be people need to be able to count for it. Sweet. Can't see for real. Yeah, it's not signed or stamped. They're supposed to. Um, and what they do is also uh, on the writ. The writ has to be signed by uh, the uh, the enforcement officer that's executing the writ. Um, and obviously, quite clearly, there's no signature. And what they're doing is they're not signing the uh, they're not signing these uh, these these fraud bogus documents until after uh, until after they've actually come and, and robbed the property. Um, the other point which uh, which I've raised is the writ is not in a prescribed format um, because it's uh, the document the writ 66 possession that they've used is was obsolete in October 2014. 
they don't use different documents now so it's an outdated writ that they've used um, but like I say this needs to be criminal investigated um, still it It's a 66 anyway. You don't uh, don't live in a commercial property. But it's that, oh, right, it's the, six, the 66 for a commercial premises. Um, interesting. It's all fraudulent, Amanda. The whole the whole lot of it's um, fraudulent. It's not valid, um, and they've committed the crime. Yeah, but it's a special, yeah. I mean, it's a fucking couple of cops. It's hobby, doesn't it? Mm. Tea towel, I don't. Oh, mate. Come on. Well, well, the thing is, that this is what my argument is now. Think about it. Look, there's an allegation of burglary. Quite clearly, there's no burglary going on. It's a civil matter. Go civil on. matter? Yeah, yeah. go. You haven't, got, you haven't got the jurisdiction. Yeah, yeah, I see that. What do you reckon on that? Getting rid of Conte? Well, I liked him. I thought he was yeah, alright. I thought he was good. I thought he was mad to get rid of yeah. him, to be honest. He's fucking passionate. Oh, man, you're not in sports. You're the wrong with that. He's just passionate about him. God, I'm fucking not there now. I might, put, I might put the vents back in. Nice one, budge. Can I tell you what, Dan? That's a good shout. Um, <laughs> it's just as long as depends on how long these are here for. When Costa went, was it due to him that Costa went for? What the ball down your way, Dan, or the ball down my way? No, Dan Dalton. He's, he's going down the ball in a minute. Oh. Oh, I've got a little bit better sleep. The old bags under the eyes are looking a little bit better. <laughs> it's been a fucking <laughs> terrible week, I tell you. Oh, mate, fucking old. What's up? Because they're, they're, they're not going to be able to watch the football, right? They're just going to hang it out here. Did, so. did you see the argument before that? Yeah. 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 If, if you had the ball back shut, what would that be? I don't know. I've done a risk it. Yeah, they have to come yeah. in when they for open it's like bailiffs. If they, there's a door open or open window they can come in. So yeah, I don't yeah. wanna I sort of don't wanna go out there. Not I don't wanna go there's no go out there, they'll find another trumped up misdemeanor charge to get me. Yeah, yeah, just to take you away. Yeah. But see that's wrong what they took you away for and there's nothing there. No. Yeah, well no the reason the reason the reason, the reason Yeah, the reason why it was is to get me get me away from here. That bailiff bloke said, Are you gonna leave the property? I said, I'm not willfully leaving. So he said, um well, you'd be arrested for obstructing high court enforcement officer. So be it. And then the police come out and arrest me for an allegation of malicious communications. I know what the, why, why it was why that got dropped is because that is attached to the, my car that they nicked. They nicked my Audi. Yeah. And it was in storage. They said they'd seized it. They never notified me that I could pick it up. I was trying to communicate for restoration of property. I uh, phoned the police up and said, look, I'm getting an update of my car. She said, oh, you can go and pick it up from Mansfield. Just drive up there and go and pick it up. It's ready for collection. Excellent. Phone Mansfield up and said, no, it's been crushed. Police gave us authorisation across it on the 21st of June last year. I said, well, how come you don't give no notice that it's been ready for collection? So that's the reason when I got a nick for the malicious communications, because they wouldn't charge me for that, because then it would open up the whole can of worms in court yeah, about yeah, the yeah. car and about where, where my property is. Yeah. So what's happening about that? Well, I've, well, I've, I've had... That's something else. Uh, Dan, get your phone, mate. Please. Absolutely. Yeah, type a number in for us, mate. I don't know, I'm going to bring that.